And I forgot to press F3 because annoyance. Uh, yeah, for some reason my wireless ear earbuds aren't connecting, or they are connecting, but immediately losing connection again. So, uh, yeah, I wasn't getting any audio on them there, but luckily I have this thing as a backup. Uh, testing, testing. Yeah, I can hear. We can hear me, good. Okay, but yeah, on with something Sunday, of which the first game is Max Payne 3. Of the pretty well-known, or pretty well-known, very well-known Max Payne series. And uh, yeah, let's start. Hmm. There you go. Let's go on medium. Okay. Uh, hello, Abby. And, uh, well, my my room is the size of a big storage cupboard. So I guess I've become what they wanted me to be. A killer. Some rent-a-cloud with a gun who puts holes in other bad guys. Well, that's what they had paid for, so in the end, that's what they got. Say what you want about Americans, but we understand capitalism. You buy yourself a product and you get what you pay for. And these chumps had paid for some angry gringo without the sensibilities to know right from wrong. Here I was about to execute this poor bastard like some dime store angel of death. And I realized they were correct. I wouldn't know right from wrong if one of them was helping the poor and the other was banging my sister. I'd arrived in Sao Paulo a few weeks before. I was working a protection detail for the kind of people who need protection in a town like this. And what kind of town was this? One where I didn't speak the language and they didn't water down their drinks. So for now, we seem to get along just fine. Of course, that was about to change. Hey, brother. Hey. How's the cocktail? Scotch. I never mix my drinks. Yeah, well, at least not on duty. Something like that. Man, that favela is big. Yep. Nothing like the view of extreme poverty to make a penthouse cocktail party really swing. I guess they call it trickle-down economics. <laughs> That's funny. It's supposed to be a charity thing. Drink and give money. I don't know. Something for the kids. Hey, listen, man. We better look lively. This place is a nightmare. They just got cowboys running security downstairs. Something rotten in the air. That didn't mean much. There was always something rotten in the air. The family we were protecting were local celebrities, rich parasites with delusions of humanity. The kind of people who end up in glossy magazines or body bags, depending on how their luck runs. So where are they all? I see Rodrigo over there talking to that guy. Yeah, I don't know him. That guy next to him. He's some kind of cop. Uh, I think, I'm not sure. Serious though. Big end cop, anti-gang sort of thing. I can't remember his name. Who's this guy? That guy's a plastic surgeon or some kind of surgeon. Uh, tummy tucks and cock implants. Ha! <laughs> Look at Marcel. He's 
still dances like a fool. Guess that's what a European education and a coke habit will do for Ricky Martin look alike. <laughs> that's very funny, Max. Oh, excuse me. I was mostly working for Rodrigo Branco, a local businessman. Built things, did some charity, had things named after him, won awards, owned things, people. One of the trophies he had won was his wife, Fabiana. She was hot and wanted to be dangerous. Some good genes trying to fight their way out of a cesspit. She'd married well and was now at leisure to regret her good fortune. They got along as well as any rich workaholic and his younger airhead wife tend to get along. They mostly ignored each other. She spent a lot of time with his cokehead younger brother, Marcello. He was a good time guy if your idea of a good time was an expensive suit, a bottle of champagne, and nothing between the ears. The middle brother, Victor, had just walked in. He was a local politician. Guy was smoother than an oil slick on an iceberg and about as toxic. The rest of the crowd, I didn't know, but I could imagine the types. People who know if they drink enough, they won't have to feel guilty about their good fortune. Suddenly, things turned real ugly. Felt like our hangovers arrived right on cue. Pass off! What the hell was that? I don't know what the fuck that was. Let's go. Things had gone Shit. from fine to fucked up in about a second, and now there were two idiots at the wheel. Clear. Got the floor? Sure. Right. Look after yourself, bro. Stay safe. It wasn't my own safety I was concerned about, trophy wife or not. I'd said I would protect the girl. I hoped I hadn't lost my edge, along with everything else. It was time to choose a nasty fall or a bullet to the head. Yeah, this is what Max Payne is all about. Lady. Only this time she wasn't calling for more liquor in her cocktail. Non stop all the time. Yep. <laughs> uh, that less, but uh, yeah, a lot moment, of combat, bullet time, and bullet dodging. Grip on the developing world. She was out on one of the balconies, and I hoped not about to be thrown off it. Don't be stupid! Don't be stupid! Let it go! Let it go! Come on! It might have been stupidity or drunkenness, or maybe both. But before I knew it, I was back taking insane risks, trying to save fallen women. Nice work. Hey, you need a hand? No, you? Who the hell's Rodrigo? I don't know, man. Thanks. Somebody's gotta go find him. Está tudo sob controle agora. Fica tranquilo. I imagined the elevator doors opening to a firing squad of muzzles. As far as I could see it, the one thing my plan had going was that no one else would be stupid enough to pull this move. Where is he? Yo. Cover? Yeah, Max here is a bit of a... Oh, hello. I didn't mean to get that. Max is a bit crack shot, but uh, he's had some shit in his times since, well, this is the third game as well. Well, it is in his name as well. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Max, 
Yeah, it took me two years to realize that the entire need is a damn pun. I'd done them enough favors. I didn't need to give them more of a head start. Oh, hello. Thank you. No, I can see um, why I haven't seen too many doing... I heard many YouTube say they love this game, but when they do play it, they only do like one or two episodes. Yeah, a lot of people don't like this third gun one. It... <laughs> you can overkill it during the screen. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, some people don't like this game because... Uh, what is this? Some sort of rifle? Some people don't like this game because it isn't as uh, noir as the previous ones. It looked like they were taking him out through the basement. Maybe I still had a shot. But I still like it. But from what I've seen for this one, I'm not seeing for. Throw away. Sure, I'd have to work hard to get him back, but I knew the bad guys would want the boss alive almost as much as I did. What I'm not saying is for I've seen a bit of the old older games, and I, for the problems that I see with the is it's almost impossible for them to commentate when playing this. Yeah, because Max will do a lot of commentating on his own. <laughs> yeah, which may, can make the very limited work you can do with the video. The control box was on the wall to the left of the gate. And I heard my food done, so be right back. And <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go do this for seems to work often. Don't die. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Yeah, tab is painkillers, which is well, Max's signature healing item. Now, how do I... Come on, I can carry that thing around. Search for clues. They were waiting on my... The great thing about being famous as well as rich is the bad guys know who to kidnap. Okay. Oh. Another parking lot rattling with gunfire. Was I too late? That's security over there. And well, technically we are also security and not only just skirted along the, the concrete. Should be all of them. Everything is okay. <laughs> of course, but that should be all of them. You're okay. You're okay. Yeah. Come on, get up. Come on, get up. You're okay. Come with me. Just come. It's okay. Is that, is that the middle? No, that's not the middle, brother. Fuck. You did good, Max. You say so. Don't look so good. Hey, what could be better, huh? The good guys are reunited, and the Commando Sombra are dead. I guess. So who's this guy? I don't know. Some kind of cop. Different branch of the police. Not Ufe, but uh, normal cops. I don't know about this stuff. Politics. Everywhere politics. Shit, Max, you look kind of beat up. Let's get this lot home, and then I'll, I'll get you home, too. Come on. Yeah, they're lucky any of them are alive. Back home, it was time for some R&R. &R, the only way I knew how.
<laughs> and with that, I guess I was ready for bed. A couple of days later, it was back to work, ferrying the boss's broad and his dipshit of a brother out for the night so they could recover from their brush with mortality. Then again, what did I expect? These were the kind of people who went to nightclubs in helicopters. Fabiana had brought her sister along, presumably so she could show off just how rich and empty her life was. And boy, was she about to learn the meaning of rich and empty. Max! Max! I was speaking to you! Sorry, what was that? Oh, I was saying we get into a lot of scrapes, man. <laughs> well, we're still here. Hey. Thanks to you, Max. I owe you my life. Boom. It wasn't just him, huh, baby? Oh, yes, Marcel. I'm sure you did a lot to save everyone. You were probably worried about getting blood on your stash. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> Thank you, Max. I don't know what I would do without my sister. Mmm, we'd spend even more time doing something useful. <laughs> You know she works in the favela. She's the good sister. Oh, shut up. <laughs> what did you hear, Faba? More bodies turned up more people went missing. But it's horrifying. Did someone say Q? Hey. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it is a cool town, man. <laughs> hey, here we are. Oh, <laughs> 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 I love this view. It's a real chill place to hang, you know? Do a little business, have some fun. I need it too. I've been working far too hard. Like a whore during Fleetchy Weeky, as my roommate used to say. <laughs> you like that, Max? That's pretty funny. Anastasia? Oh, yeah, I know, Anna. This kind of place made me want to puke. I needed a real drink to deal with the electronic music and the robotic people. Fucking monkey from a fucking slump. He acts cool with me. What's that? Nothing. 
Hey, Max, you're a man of the world. What do you fucking do it, man? About what? What do you do about life? <laughs> Look at me, I'm standing in a nightclub, listening to music I can't stand. I'm 5,000 miles from home, I'm armed and I'm drinking. You don't want to listen to advice from me, amigo. <laughs> oh, Max, I love you, man. You're fucking real, you know? Oh, dear people. Fuck them. People get me wrong. <sighs> I think... I think I love a wrong woman. Oh, excuse me. Fabio! Fabio! Oh, ah, oh, my oh, nigga! Hey. How are you? <laughs> What's your name, Mo? What's your name? Thank God he has left. A minute more of his drivel and I would have had to put a bullet in him myself. It soon turned out I wasn't the only one. Them. I hadn't seen it coming, but that was no surprise. It's hard to keep your eye on the ball through the bottom of a glass. I just hoped I could get to Fabiana and Giovanna in time. Also, I'm back, people. Yeah, I heard you. <laughs> and uh, just in case, yeah, the, the curtains are supposed shut. to be somewhat. To I didn't need my Portuguese for beginners to work out what was going on. The guy making the noise Make was the boss. Up. He was sending them around to cut me off from the other side. And sure enough, a few seconds later, I had some company on the dance floor. They're lucky me, old fucker, huh? Yeah, pretty good report. I, I don't like these kinds of beast goes. Yeah. It, it, I don't know if this thing is talking about. Let's say I have some other team grounds but it seems to actually have the action be lightly light sensitive. In discos like that, it does make me uneasy. Eyes annoyed a bit, the brain annoyed and almost nauseating at times. Especially with heavy bass music. Yeah, I can say I'm a fan of uh, clubs as well. <laughs> At least not more than clubs. How's it going, bro? It's not good. Some guys took Giovanna and Fabiana. What? Jesus, Max. Hey, I'm on my way. No, no, no. Stay in the chopper. We'll need a way out of here. I'll go find God. the girls. God. They, they came out of there. They went that way into the lounge. Come here. Go, go. Get up. Get up. You can't stay here. I need you to lock this door behind me. Get everybody else out of here. Fuck. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Okay, anyone with a mask dies. You... <laughs> what the hell is happening with that one? <laughs> Who's doing a pirouette in the air? <laughs> yeah, so if you ever to know who the stealers of this game, I'm not sure if I can go commentate. Yeah, I don't have no problem with that. Uh, but I think Max counts as a co-commentator. Oh, you're thinking it's better than me, eh? Thanks. It's <laughs> unfinished business, and all I could think about was my unfinished scotch. Whatever the hell they were arguing about, it was time for me to add my two cents. Yeah, two cents and a few pounds of lead. Or grams more, but still. <laughs> They were still alive, at least. This crew was starting to look a lot like friends of the gate crashers at last week's party. These guys had some real issues with the Broncos. They were back to finish the job. I figured it was time to start doing mine.
Okay, just turn one more. Ah, there you are. And there we go. Yeah, yeah, this is also from the time that... Or... Not from the time, but... It, uh, you have no regenerating health in this game, so you have to... You have to avoid damage as best as you can. Just like real life. They were headed for the helicopter pad. I had to get to the roof before Giovanna and Fabiana left on a one-way flight. I knew this was going to be a bad idea, but in the continued absence of any good ones, I decided to go with it. What a view. I guess my time in Sao Paulo wasn't quite the paid holiday of the sun I'd been promised. At least I was getting shot at by a better class of psychopath. These guys weren't messing around. This place was like Baghdad with G-strings. A couple of more seconds and I'd have given some poor street cleaner a crappy start to his day. Now, I had a ride to catch. All I said! Come on, come on! Jesus, Max, I can't leave you alone for five minutes! What the hell happened in there? They jumped us! Same guys from the party, I think. They grabbed the girls. Marcelo, but he's here now. Yeah, don't worry about me, homie. I'm just the guy paying you lots of money to protect me. Yeah, what were you drinking? Bet your ass I was. You try staying in there for five minutes sober. Oi, oh, yeah. Look, there they are. Target. She's making a run for it. Hey, hold on. She's moving around. Move, you're gonna lose her. No! No! What the fuck are you waiting no! for? No! <laughs> Come on. Yeah, reloading, reloading, and. Oh, hello. There you go. Wait, he's quiet. <laughs> oh, dong, oh, dong, dong, dong. I'd missed that one. <laughs> he was close there. That's where are all these assholes coming from? Going to do any more than just see her. But I think the big question is how many are there? Time and I'm out. Yeah, how many of these assholes are there? I think I've killed like 30 already. You know, so, is this a gang or what? Or, I feel like this is almost too many to pull uh, out from for a gang. And yes, I know gangs can be big, but. At the size where you can afford to lose fucking people? The um, get off! <laughs> That's a bit heavy! Oh crap. Oh, oh and that was a bit of. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> Oh, 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 sorry about that. I, uh, <laughs> I have no idea how. 
That was a bit of graphical glitching, more than all of this. <laughs> Goddamn oh. army of these goons. Clearly, somebody wanted these girls bad. Or maybe they just assumed the Bronco security team consisted of more than a drunk American has been and a Brazilian never was who should have paid more attention in flying school. Either way, I needed to find Giovanna before they did. Uh, yeah, one of the complaints that I've heard levied against this game is that it's not as yeah, noir or as flowery with the talk as the previous ones but all in all I even if it doesn't really match up to the to the other game the, to the previous games there's still just a hell of a lot of work put into this there's I believe a few hundred animations depending on where you shoot the enemy and such so yeah Oh, got time to reload. And there's no ragdolling? Um, I... Hmm. It has... I saw a video on this game and it, all the work put into it. I, I believe there's probably a bit... Well, we saw earlier that there is some ragdolling when you get the last shots. But most of that is at least partially animated. Yeah, I think the early days ragdolling were seemed very really mixed up. It sure was humorous, but many times the ragdolling just looked very out of place. Uh, where, is, where is this attacker? Uh, okay. Oh, yeah. there, he's, uh, he's out of sight. So, yeah. <laughs> Dead. Oh. But uh, yeah, we've passed the half hour mark. So yeah, th this game, this particular game and maybe the previous ones are, well, they are on the big maybes on the list and there's a little dirt on my screen here. But uh, yeah, with, with just how chatty Max's uh, co-commentating would be a bit difficult. So yeah, you, you're free to uh, step aside with all of that if needed. If we end up building them in a play, let's play. But I did see a bit, did get some brief room finally. Yeah. But I, said, I, I do like when the characters talk and such in games and there's a dialogue. But also it depends on how you do it. Also, I, I do like this as well. My world was fading around me, turning everything to black. The toll was too great, but there's no backing out now. Instead of just yes and no, if you want to leave. All right, that's interesting. Yeah, Make stuff like that is also fa always fancy. Yeah. Oh, and a little bit of a my, maybe a funny story. When I was in the kitchen and grabbing my burger, I did a burp. Grabbed two tortilla breads instead of one. Okay. For some reason, I thought I was making hot dogs. <laughs> so it would have been a bit answer. awkward. A, a, yeah. a hamburger in a hot dog bun. <laughs> Yeah, not if I love what to chill your bread. So not the hot dog bread. That would be damn me awkward. But I could probably fix that. But anyway, normally when I realize I do the derp, I put just put the extra bread back, but no, I had already put the condiments on it. So yeah, an extra tortilla bread with uh, slices sausages in it. So, okay. Yeah. This is kind of hot dog. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, this game, uh, if you're not doing anything, it starts up a down the gameplay. <laughs> oh, what the hell? Oh, God, this is a whole game, ain't it? Yeah, 2000. Or actually, precisely 2000. Mm -hmm. And yeah, this is MDK2 by BioWare and Interplay. Oh, okay. yeah. Actually, has a controller like that. We only use it for oh, one game. Here we go again. Oh, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> okay, let's not have that. But, uh, uh no. Uh, yeah, Th this was from before BioWare became mostly known because of Mass Effect. But, uh, yeah. Let's new game, let's medium, and let's have some fun.
hands of hands. Correct. Dick never wanted to be a hero. He was content with his life and wanted to live out his years in quiet, dignified anonymity. Sadly, it was not to be. Kurt was employed as a janitor for Dr. Fluke Hawkins, eccentric man of science. The messes were large, but the pay was good. So when Hawkins left, Kurt followed. Little did he know what was to come. The doctor had wished for a... Okay, the hell is... It stopped capturing the game there, probably because it's running that inside something else. Like hmm. the canine Max. Max was the okay. perfect. Uh, I'll have to restart this bit then and just use screen capture. Hmm. Uh, you're on. It's not letting me skip much here. Don't be here. I, I remember seeing this character, but the two the times I saw him. It felt more like dark and gothic and not comedy. Even the did my style of play, and play did not feel like it was a comedy. Okay, so for some reason OBS seems to have lost it. Yeah, let's what? see if I Hmm. That's that's a first that it captured I can, uh, just use this. This play screen one and there we go, that should work. And yeah, here we go again. Sorry about that. And okay, that's pretty glitched on my end. What the heck? And again, not capturing. Never wanted to be a hero. He was content with his life and wanted to live out his years in quiet. Okay, this this is really strange now. Is it not recording or not showing on stream? It's not showing on stream. Uh, let's see, if I put on window capture, well, that, that doesn't even recognize it. Hmm. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, another, it's capturing now, but Okay, that, that was just plain odd. What the heck was up with that? that it is like yeah. this cinematic? Yeah, it's... You should be seeing the comic bit as well, right? I it saw it. Been. Okay, yeah. I had no problems. For some reason, it wasn't showing on the stream. So, yeah, again, <laughs> another quit. And now it's not showing the main menu. The hell? I can see it just fine. Yeah, from now on, May, and the loading screen is glitching by... It's huge. Kurt Hectic never wanted to be a hero. He was content with his life and wanted it's to live some... out his years in quiet, dignified anonymity. What if I do this? Kurt was employed as a janitor for go. Dr. Fluke Hawkins, eccentric man of science. The messes were large, but the pay was good. So when Hawkins left, Kurt followed. Little did he know what was to come. The doctor had wished for a place away from his detractors, away from those that thought him mad. With janitor in tow, he left the earth, vowing to return only when his genius was proven. The greatest of the doctor's inventions in exile was the six-legged canine, Max. Max was the perfect assistant, and his appreciation of firepower made him a fine watchdog as well. All was peaceful until the invasion. Aliens from a strange dimension attacked the Earth, arriving on energy streams and landing great mine crawlers to destroy everything in their path. The forces of Earth were helpless before the onslaught. Dr. Hawkins had to act. Kurt was outfitted in an untested coil suit and sent to try and disable the machines. He was reluctant, but he had no choice. He was the Earth's last hope. Kurt fought valiantly, driving to the very heart of the invasion. There, he challenged the alien leader, a grotesque creature named Gunter Glut. And with Max's aid, Kurt was victorious. As their leader fell, the invasion crumbled and the aliens retreated, their tails between their legs. In their wake, they left the Earth battered, despoiled, even ruined, but not beaten. No, not beaten. Now, with the aliens routed and order restored, our heroes can return to their normal everyday lives. Or can they? Only time will tell. Come toast, Kurt. You've done well. Everything's Jake for sure. Uh, yeah. Well, whatever. Don't sell yourself short. Those aliens never knew what hit them. 
A major setback for them, I'm certain. Yeah, I'm glad it's over. Yes, it's all over. <sighs> I just knew it. Mine crawler in sector 8675309. 538. Good gravy! That's Edmonton! Well, Kurt, I hope you're up to saving the world one more time, eh? You sure are quick to send me down. You're the man for the job! Max and I will help if we can, but for now it's up to you! Jinkies, I'm so proud! Oh uh, yeah, this game might look clunky now, but it is just an absolute joy to play. Yeah, just I still wonder how I got the feeling of it as a king. But every time I saw it, I got the impression it must be like a very dark Batman, but instead of Batman, it's a Batman. man. And uh, yeah, because bit of this game's age showing in that uh, you weren't able to see that all of that in such a big effect. Yeah, uh, yeah. I believe this is this might actually be the first and only time that we'll do this, where we're actually diving towards a mine crawler, which, as you can see, is just it's just digging up the entire <laughs> the entire blocks of the whole freaking city. What the heck? Uh, yeah. Yeah, that, yep. And here we are. Yeah, in the first game, pretty much every level started like that. I think I've never actually played it. I do own it. Every level started like that? Yeah, a lot of them at least. Before you begin your assault, Kurt, I've got to refresh your memory on how to use the coil suit. Use your directional keys to move around. Try pressing two buttons at the same time for diagonal movement. Use the mouse to look both up and down and turn from side to side. Or we just skip all of this and throw your head straight in. What? Well, they, they really put a lot of work in all departments. Yep. Say what you want about this game, it is not generic. Yeah, uh, wait. Ain't this supposed to have wings? Uh, we have what? Ain't Kurt supposed to have wings? Nope. Uh, it's a coil uh, parachute. Uh, parachute. I remember it from the uh, uh, commercial showing him with a damn big cane. Yeah, and those are the coils. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, he's just lounging up there, screwing around with a target. Yeah, I'm still so confused again. Every time I start dropping about this game as a kid, this was not the impression I had. And uh, again, yeah. I thought it was supposed to be like a very tall fat man, but with a dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, marketing departments don't always agree to what the game actually is. And like, notice yeah. that? This guy is leading his shots. A lot of AI these days doesn't even bother with that. And uh, yeah, if you hurt them enough, they start limping around and trying to get away from you. More. Uh, yeah, I'm, I already changed the controls beforehand. I'm just using WASD. The sniper mode I'm entering with space, which well, gives us a sniper, but we are stuck in place, so an easy target. Fire with primary mouse, jump with secondary mouse. Wait, I think I remember now. I think it was the first game someone had a demo, and again, demo. And in that, in that demo, he had a cape instead of coins. Good chance, and I can hear some little bastards down there. Uh, yeah, there's... Yeah, this game is very old school and arcadey, without actual, uh, without actual point systems. And let's see, oh, if we God. jump up there... I got to remember another thing. Yeah, we definitely can to explain confused section with some games in early days, like Age of Empires and such. Like, I heard that people loved the Fallen 8, 
But they hit this crumble and kick me. They said, he's like a vampire. You okay? We have not. What are you? Yeah. The, the, the only comment those two have is that you look up above and the characters are kicks of model and but that's it. Uh, yeah, by the way, the, the thing that we blew up here, that was uh, a spawner. It would keep spawning enemies until we destroy it. So yeah, we want it gone. And these, these drone things are switches that we need to shoot with the sniper. And yeah, do I even need to say anything about that? Why? Oh, these things. And this is one of my favorite tracks in this game. This music? Yep. Oh, I like Oh, that sounds good. I can't. I can't let Retro. I'm not using some right. Oh, wait. I guess I'm using one for a bit of uh, modern music back then. Okay, grab these. But I have to double check here. Oh, I so see what's going on with that. It's from the viewpoint of a shy. Would you blame me to mistake his helmet for being a travel <laughs> uh, Like a no. travel helmet? Uh, let's change that and that. Uh, can we move? Yeah, I, I was... I was accidentally switching to the inventory down there. Oh dear. I accidentally tied it to the same button as Flaving. Oh. Yep, turrets. Want to avoid them. And, uh, yeah. This will look familiar from the little demo that I was playing. Now, let's see. What was the use button again? Uh, let's see. Curve controls. Inventory. Oh, that needs to be changed. Um... Okay, there we go. Now I should be able to... Yep, invisibility. Still, these jackasses will still shoot at you if you shoot at them. And yeah, they have a lot of health. Is that a mutant? Sort of. It doesn't have any eyes though, and it's a bit uh, chubby. And yeah, yeah, those shots will keep it going after you. They they don't just give up once you're behind them. What the heck? Catch. Yeah, I think I remember when I saw this game first time, it was not 4 in 2000. Ow. It was, uh, I think it was 97 or something. And when I remember back, I, I didn't read the TV again, but it's because I don't see their pictures, and they killed all the these guys. None of the professor or dog. I mean, it's one enemy or two, but yeah, at least it's me that they did not show. They only focus on this guy. Well, you'll be playing as all three of them, but I think Kurt does get a bit more screen time. Yeah, but just still, that, that gives you an idea how video game magazine focuses on the game. They ignored the other two completely. Uh, yeah, it should be obvious with the chain gun. Oh. Okay, we aren't completely stuck in place. We can strafe left and right a bit. But we're still vulnerable while sniping. But yeah, the, the chain gun, it does get a rain aimed around like this. But if you're looking towards an enemy, it will lock on. And yeah, we need to go up there. Because we might be in the mine crawler, but we need to get to the cockpit. Because, uh, yeah, in the original, you'd be have a sort, you'd have a light uh, time limit to each mission. And because, well, the thing was churning up a freaking city every time. 
So, uh, yeah, you'd have a time limit as in... Uh, <laughs> you'd need to finish before there was anyone to say left. There wasn't anyone left to save. In this game, though, we won't be having any uh, time limits. To my Thank knowledge, at least. I, well, there are... There are a few at some points, but not with Kurt here, at least. Because, yeah, we'll be playing as all three of the characters, and each of them plays somewhat differently. Not that they control any differently, but the style of their missions and levels is different. Kurt here will have a lot of platforming. Which would mean I would have hated to play this game. Yeah, you get a lot of recovery time with the coil seat. And uh, yeah, we're up freaking high. Sniper mortar. Those little scout grown assholes. Those will just keep spawning continuously. I believe. Okay, some points. Okay, uh, we need the mortars and we need to get them, no, nope, we need to get them in there. In the upper right you can see how, oh, that was a one shot. Yeah, in, in the upper right when you, well, standing still you can see Kurt and correct yourself and hello there and goodbye. I'd say I kind of miss that not many games do uh, this kind of uh, UI anymore. That yeah. is the aim that is. Okay, mortar and I, I, I'm too used to <laughs> getting it in one shot. I, I've been in some cases I've been here for quite some time just trying to get the freaking things in, but they. Uh, you will just get more and more of the mortars, so uh, you're not uh, screwed over if you miss all of your shots. Okay, this one is a bit more tricky, I think. And let's go. Okay. Okay, ah, just a bit short. Just move forward and go. Oh, God, I should have gone in. Okay. Yep. Right, out of mortars. But, oh, yeah. now I see what's going on. In the upper right corner, you can see how the bullet is going. There we go. Okay. Anyone jumping in on this? Nope, not this time. And so did yeah. All right. We're supposed to go in this thing. But if we can... Actually, no, it's in the other side. I believe. Yeah, it's on the other side. There's a secret hidden on top of this thing. And hello and goodbye. Yep. There we go. Those homing bullets I've never actually used much, but they are very useful. Okay, we should be able to get on top of this thing through so here. Because you can see that there's something up there. But we need a bit more height first. That should do. Something about this does feel like it should work. The way he glides around. Yeah, it, it absolutely shouldn't, but it, it looks cool as all hell, and you still have sight of where you're going. Hmm, maybe that's why he had cape in the original uh, early game demos? Could be. I mean, they, they decided to, that the cape may have been more in the way of the gameplay. And in this game, we'll hear this music a lot. Boss time. 
what we're facing off against. But they ain't starting small, huh? Now, let's see. If we keep moving aside, though, we should be safe mostly when they're shooting. Even if it throws off our aim completely. We need to keep those for her. That retracts those. These guys will keep spawning. So, like with Max, we have to be careful oh, of our health. Oh. And yeah, you did. this is just an absolutely ridiculous amount of zoom with this, huh? Oh, hello there. Very oh, yeah. really powerful. Oh, it is like this. Yeah. You know, there's not many games on it. You have so few power chance that I want. This much working through. Oh, and there we go. That's the first race done. And since we won't be used keeping our stuff, enjoy. What happened to that? Well, that was us getting landed on. Oh. Are you almost gonna land in the earlier? And now what happened? Yeah, oh. black hole grenades. Oh, you are not fully perfume. Okay, yeah, this guy has that smash attack, oh. Where he just hits the ground and everything starts to hurt. And let's use this super chain gun that we got. Limited oh. ammo, but... It did he just split us off? Yep. This thing ripped. Yep. Bad time to land. You lots go chase that. Because these guys aren't too bright. Now that we actually have much need for it. And a, yeah, that's just an inflatable Kurt <laughs> that they're going after. Doctor, the pilot is gone. What now? I, you, what? What's that? Sorry, you turn your thingy up. I'm not getting clear signal, my boy. Speak from the diaphragm. Doctor! If... What? Kurt, Kurt, listen to me. I want you to lie down. Take a break. Relax. What? I can't hear you. I don't want to alarm you, but there's something very behind you. Look, it's conspicuous. There's something behind... What? What? I... Turn around, you fool! Ow! Oh, oh I'm just too good for my own bad self. Hello, birds. Who's your daddy? Why, yes, I am. <laughs> Wait, that Kurt? voice and line Kurt? I recognize. Can you hear me, my boy? Doctor, we're not getting through to him. Oh, nonsense. He's always been quite reasonable. Something is just blocking the signal. It's that ship. Hmm. <laughs> we could destroy their power supply so they stop jamming us. No, no, no. I've got a better plan. You should destroy their power supply so they stop jamming us. Heal? <laughs> Good doggy. Now go straddle a torpedo while I figure out how to aim. I love surplus. Max, I've lost control of the torpedo. Take the controls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And yeah, now we just have to guide Max over to the other ship. <laughs> so I'm 
I'm pretty sure if we get hit by anything, we're dead, and we think we're about to find out. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this game is just plain fun. Plain, silly, stupid fun. Yeah, it makes me want to How long is this game? Uh, not too long, actually. Or, what the I say that, it's, it's still a good amount of hours, but it's not like 30 or something. Yeah, I want to see Should we put this on the uh, side show Saturday? We could, yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I, I really, I just love this game, so it would help with too. Oh, As I said, just <laughs> silly, stupid fun. And it is like it's out for one of the older on the tournament games. Now, fetch those magnums in front of you by walking over them. Ready your gun by using the selection box. Once the gun is selected, press the select up button. And press the down button to unequip it. Max is all about firepower, because, well, he has four arms, so he can wield four guns. Yeah, and, uh, oh, but, but right, from the earlier big purple guy, I noticed something about him I recognize. Mm hmm? His accent and line. I think they throw him as a reference to Warcraft 3 on the witch, uh, in the Shadowhunter. Okay, I might actually have to look at that. But yeah. anyhow, uh, that was Swing Swang, and he'll be a persistent pest in our sides throughout this game. But we're at the half hour again, so shall we continue a bit with this so we can see how Max plays, or shall we move on to the next game? I say, well, here's the thing. We can move on to the next game, but if we... Yeah, if we do this as a Saturday sideshow, it's definitely be good idea to stop here now, otherwise we have more uh, to replay. Yeah, also this game doesn't autosave. So, yeah. It does give plenty of save slots though. But yeah, you, you can say, you can tell that this game was uh, very much loved when they made it. Yeah, and they uh, definitely loved making it. Uh, yeah, people still want a uh, an MDK three someday, but we'll have to see if uh, we'll have to see first if Bioware survives EA. Though so I've heard rumors that no, actually, I think it has been confirmed that they are working on a fifth Mass Effect game, which is supposed yep. to be in the Unreal Engine 5. And for people who haven't heard, it basically, well, of course they're praising their own work into the heavens, but if even half of the stuff that they claim is true, then that thing could be an absolute game changer for the industry. Yeah, let's hope so for... Yeah, I think part of Biobest probably is they were not allowed to use Unreal Engine, but EA's own system? Yeah, Frostbite. But, yeah, this was meant for shooter games. Uh, not, not, for... R not for RPGs, like uh, Andromeda. Andromeda, Dragon Age. But they forced it to make true, and I seen that many of their games have similar arm animation, like they recycle a lot, just probably because they can't re make a new ones too often with that program. Yeah. Let's see. So, with Unreal 5, hopefully that allows them to have easier time to make a good game. 
Okay, you gotta wait a bit with this game be until it can oh. be caught because, uh, yeah, the for some reason, oh, wait, it did it move on. Is it showing the game to you now? Because now it says that I'm streaming this game to you. And I, I'm pretty no, sure I didn't it's click that. For me. Hmm. Okay, I'll just have to exit and restart that a qu quick bit. And that's the first that it automatically swaps over to a different game. But yeah, it didn't seem to work. And yeah, it's all, it's already been mentioned in the title. And this game is uh, well known enough on its own, so I don't think it needs too much of an introduction. Wait. Hold on I a second here. Oh, I see something. What the heck? M M MDK2 didn't close off, it seems. Okay. Uh, just for a little bit extra, there is an HD remake or remaster, I forget what the distinction is again, uh, of MDK2. Except it doesn't actually really work. I played it and then I got stuck in a in the third level because, yeah, the, it glitched out and it just wouldn't let me progress. It was impossible to do what was needed to be done. So oh. yeah, I will not be playing that. For now though, Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. Play what again? I think I missed that part. I will. I will not be playing the HD version of MDK2. There's an HD version. Yeah, and only typically what you at, expect at the very least of an HD uh, version is that it well upgrades the textures, which it does, but it doesn't do it everywhere. They, they just basically it's they upgraded the character models some, but uh, the rest. Or most of the mission levels in themselves were completely neglected and left the same. Okay. Yeah, and they added in a few bugs that, well, game breaking. Okay, that's a bit fair. Then again, they were maybe not allowed to do too much work. Like, you just fix this and quick there fast, but we need yeah. to throw it and it got failed. And this is Metal Gear? Yeah. The Rising I... Sides uh, story, they, they were, from what I heard, they were going to make more Metal Gear Rising games uh, as well as a side, a spin off from the Metal Gear Solid games. Solid, the Solid games is where it's all about the stealth and such. But Rising, uh, well, if you haven't seen before, you will see in just a bit. This is so different from Metal Gear I'm used to. <laughs> yeah. Then again, I know very too little about it. Three years. We've come so far in just three short years. The sign of a strong leader, sir. No. The will of a strong people. <laughs> and one very able advisor. Thank you, sir. Your team deserves credit as well, Mr. Lightning Bolt. Just doing our job, Mr. Prime Minister. I must admit, I once thought of groups like yours as opportunists, enablers of war. But you've trained our new army well. Order has returned sooner than expected. Perhaps I was wrong about these private military companies. We prefer private security providers, sir. Most of Maverick's contracts do focus on security. Yes, well, the security can mean many things. Yeah. There's a saying I like. One sword keeps another in the sheath. Sometimes the threat of violence alone is a deterrent. Sometimes by taking a life, others can be preserved. It's the code the samurai lived by. Hmm. 
a soldier and a philosopher. You are full of surprises, Mr. Lightning Bolt. I could say the same about you, Mr. Prime Minister. <clears throat> what is happening? Someone's blocking the lead vehicle. Hold on. Clear the road! This is official state business! Sir, a cyborg. Cool. Exit comes up unaffiliated. I'll notify all checkpoints. Get on money out of there. Yes, sir. Stay calm. He's got friends on our 12. Right. I'm on it. Guard the Prime Minister. Yeah, yeah, this this is late in the <clears throat> uh, right trigger. This is late in the timeline. And hello there, and good bye. All right, so they also have advanced the technology a lot since then. Yep. Oh, hello there. Yeah, for the old. What the heck? I think a bit of the older game. And I think it's a bit of another one. Was meant to be a bit of a dog. But still, so it was not good for the future. Like, here? Yeah, I'm very confused. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah this, this would take. I believe this actually is the. Oh. The latest game in the timeline up to uh, now. So yeah, this is after Metal Gear Solid 4. Okay. And wait, what in the 4? They had a oil handle as a base? 
Uh, Metal Gear Solid 4 was with Old Snake. If you can't cut through the barricade, try the fence, eh? But Snake had a dog in one uh, of the rooms? That was number five, I think. Five is actually a, a sort of int prequel or int. Oh, okay. That that may explain why I feel so confused. <laughs> Jack. What do you want with the Prime Minister? I want him dead. Nothing personal, of course. Africa's just getting a bit too peaceful. What? Business ain't been the same since they shut down SOP. A clean break from the war economy. Huh. Well, some of us lack that economy. How's an honest warmonger supposed to make a living? This is your answer. <laughs> Don't do it! Don't worry now. I won't. Not while he's still useful. <sighs> so long. Say hello to the first boss. Um, yeah, run, Bryden. Like an animal. Yeah, it's supposed to be some sort of. Yeah, quite out. It's supposed to resemble some sort of aquatic creature. And uh, yeah, we can just absolutely mincemeat this fucking thing's armor. Nope. No, I don't. Who did that not step on us? Uh, this robot is confusing me. This is like it's a more like an animalistic android than a robot. Well, organic parts make for pretty good computers. Stroke for Wait, it is organic? Partially. So it is a. Bioorganic animal, basically. Yep. And that's oh, one of its it, guns gone, oh. Okay, that, that can explain why it's behaving not like a robot. 
Okay, let's just keep working here. Might want to be a bit faster with that big guy. I have to later start to check up the metal gear blower. There we go. Do we need to work on the other field now? I think we do. Oh, uh, hello. They swapped out the hydraulic cutter for a plaster cannon. Oh no, we are actually still doing damage. The lower... Uh, my camera is hiding the, uh, the health bar a bit. I might need to move it and we actually let's play this game. Uh, the gear. Uh, Raiden and you, right? Hmm? Yeah, Raiden is me. Or right, we play as are... Raiden. Alright, then it's uh, a defense and a giant. It of the 31.2% health remaining. Yeah. Go. 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 That hurt a lot. Yeah, yeah, stop his whining. Wait, wait. Go for delay. Yes, yes, I know. Take this part, this bit up. Sit still, you. Eat your little array and die. Today, point nine. And yeah, each and every bit of that is being calculated. Oh, oh, wait. That did... We are one. We are point one to send left. Yeah, well, I should have gone after this leg for the <laughs> last week. Oh. I see someone no. is just speechless. Careful, Ryzen. Keep that it up. There's so much of the process. Look for another way. Wait, see? How can you see me? There, get him. So that we are getting something else first. Use your ninja van to move over obstacles automatically. <sighs> And yeah. you must catch it. That beep is coming from our low health. Uh... Oh yeah, I can just cut through this. And that. And this. Yeah, basically anything can be cut. Oh okay. dear. Wait, and... Even the buildings... Yeah, we're not done with this. What happened? What is going on? Hey. Brighton, and that's dead. Brighton! Damn it! <laughs> uh, okay. That felt like a reference. Okay, I did skip the tutorial, so I... I'm a bit blind on what the dodge button is at the moment. Well, that's your own fault. Yeah. Uh, let's... Oh, oh we, we do have a jump, okay. And up and over. Up and over. Okay. 
Fair gate. Let's cut that little smile open. Show me his teeth. Yep. We can just say, screw your missiles. I have blades. I'm so confused of how to move left on here at the moment. Nope. Nope. You can just fuck out, you bastards. And yes, you can even cut the pieces to pieces. Right. Yeah, we can just avoid them, but we can also cut them apart. Out. Hello? We need to that if they can't break our room. Don't like him. Yeah, late Metal Gear gets Rider, very anime. An very? Yeah. I think you're understating this at the moment, my dear good sir. Prime Minister! Ha. Too little too late, hero. I won't be needing my little shield here any longer. Speeches about that. Jobs, technology, a common purpose. Uh. Raiden, 
forget me. Stop him. <clears throat> you ain't listening. I got in? Oh, you're saying? Give war a chance! No! Bad. Still. <laughs> Your technique lacks something. Mightier than the pen after all. what happens when you bring a tool to a sword fight. It's over. <laughs> Lucky devil. Thank you. 
And that's the prologue. Bloody hell. Can't wait. Seriously? 13 minutes? Yep. Of gameplay. And uh, probably another 17 of cutscene. But, uh, yeah. I think this is one that you can commentate on, or at least react to. Definitely. I just probably have to, at some point, watch some lore videos to understand what the heck is going on. <laughs> uh, what is going on is Platinum Games having a lot of fun. The same people behind Bayonetta. Who? I don't know who Bayonetta is, the company, I mean. Which one do you know, Bayonetta or the game com or Platinum? I have Bayonetta. I have Bayonetta. Uh, the company. What what company do you say it was? Platinum Games. They Platinum made. Games? Yeah, they made Bayonetta and they made this, and they are very good at flashy action combat yeah, games. Okay, yeah, then I definitely want to. I'll have misunderstood uh, Metal Gear a lot. Well, th this is their take on Metal Gear. The, the other Metal Gear games are a lot more simulation-like. Like, like I, oh, right. I might at some point play Metal Gear Solid 5. Uh, actually, I think I think some of the Metal Gear games recently were released on GOG. I'll have to check which. Uh, the problem with Metal Gear 5 is that, well, it is a prequel, sequel, It's it's in between. And there is a lot of things going around just that just cross over and reference to later and earlier games in the timeline. So yeah, that'll be very difficult to uh, keep track of and explain. Like, I didn't get like a third of what was going on in that game when I played through it. And I spent a few dozen hours on that. What the heck? Oh, yeah, let's see if we can get to a menu screen. And show off the last game, which was... Also action, but a little less, uh, <laughs> a little less flashy than this. So good. I've got a clean visual. A direct feed to your optic nerve. <laughs> yes, I should hope so, huh? I mean, how does it feel? To fly like a bird. Like a bird strapped to a remote control rocket. <laughs> we will get you in safely, Tovaric. Just relax and enjoy the ride. Right. Can you hear me, Raikul? Doctor. Remember the two procedures to maintain your new body. One, seizing nano repair units from your foes. And two, absorbing their electrolytes. I got it. Yes, enemy sidewalks should provide plenty of MCFC electrolytes once you slice them open and uh, extract their fluids. They're terrorists. I was planning on that anyway. Oh, and their left hands, if you please. Excuse me? is a combat data stored on holographic memory, typically located in the left hand. That data is very valuable. <clears throat> I am authorized to offer you upgrades and services in exchange for it. How generous. Ich liebe Kapitalismus. Had the world come down a few years earlier, I would have a Nobel Prize on my shelf. There, I see land. No activity at the airbase. Looks like we don't need to worry about interceptors. Great. Then we have time for a quick briefing. I know you miss me, Kev, but I've been all over the materials. <laughs> That's what you said before Montenegro. Look, just humor me, buddy. Objectives, of course, are enter Abkhazia, neutralize the terrorists, and restore the rightful government. Or what's left of it, anyway. The president and most of the cabinet have been killed, and a military junta's been established. The terrorists brain-jacked all the high-ranking officers, and their cyborgs scattered the rank and file. The few leaders who have survived have no way of openly opposing the new regime. That's why they called us. Andrei Dolsev, 
leader of the occupation forces, an extremist linked to both the St. Petersburg massacre of 2015 and last year's terror spree in Georgia. And his arms supplier, none other than Desperado Enforcement, LLC. Oh. Imani's killers. If we don't stop them here, they could destabilize the entire region. But our more immediate problem is Jetstream Sand. I believe you've met. The only problem I see is that nickname. I've got my enhancements this time. He won't be an issue. He may not even be in country. But keep an eye out, Justin. No. Uh, sorry. Ready for insertion. Okay, this is where we'll have to cut it off now, uh, because we've already gone at this for 40 minutes or so. Uh, as for Drakir, that sound, that was the <laughs> that was the vibration setting of the game controller uh, going oh. off against uh, the table here, as I made notes on the, yeah, yes, yay or nay on these games. Okay. Of course, I thought there was something in the game, but then it kept going on. I got a bit skeptical anyway. Anyway, that's not from in-game. Yeah. But uh, yeah, that's uh, showing off Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. Uh, camera fry in the chat, if you're still around. Uh, yeah, like I said, like I tapped out, on these Something Sundays, I pick two to four games to show off. Uh, just for just showing off or testing if they will be fun for streaming or not. And uh, yeah, Max Payne will get streamed eventually. Likely without the Drakir though. And uh, yeah, this is my main save. And yeah, this game shouldn't take too long. Uh, in gameplay time, at least. I think that's what that's counting because there's still a lot of cinematics. Now, where is, there's the exit. Because we have one more game to go for. And that is Metal Slug here. Oh dear. Okay. And Just yeah, I am okay with giving out Max Payne for... I've never been a fan of Max Payne. He just never made me interested. Okay. Now, well, we should be able to capture this in about a few seconds. Or... Oh, actually, right. I need to change this back to any full screen application. And come on. I know it picked it up earlier. There we go. It's just a bit slower. But uh, yeah, this is Metal Slug, which is a series of games of 2D shooters. Think Contra, but uh not okay. Just think Contra but similar. But uh, with more to it. I've never actually played any of these games, I think. And yeah, there is multiplayer in it, but I think it's only local. Mission 1, start! Okay. Ah, well, I know nothing about it. I just think about it before I think about it. Yeah, there, there is a story to it all. Yep. Uh, it, uh, yeah, it's just a silly game. And of course it is going to start us up easy. Okay. Thank you. No. Uh, yeah, yeah, one hit kills as well. So yeah, we gotta be careful with that. Uh, can we get that thing? No, we cannot. Heavy machine gun. 
out. <laughs> you have four on fucking plane server. Hey, hello, dude. Uh, I do not want to know what you all have in there. And... Hey, uh, this, this game is more about the bosses than the in between combats. The siren, or at least an attempt at one. Okay. Uh, yeah, <laughs> those are divers with torpedoes trapped to them. <laughs> and how did I do that? This <laughs> Those tanky designs. I recognize that design. Yep, these are the metal slugs. Wait. I wonder if the same artist that made this thing is the thing that made the uh, tank fling. I'm not sure, but I think it might have been the same person as Dragon Ball. Or no, that's the Dragon Quest, is what I'm thinking of. Yeah, you think of Dragon Quest. Uh, like, you have a tank for me? Um, in passing, maybe. No, I can I aim this thing separately, or do I have to keep moving around like this? I can recommend it. It's, uh, it's really good. It is an old anime, but it's a good one. And there was a question. If we ever get the point where police needs tactics. Okay. Yeah, the gameplay is simple, uh, for now at least. Uh, the spike work is very good. Uh, a lot of it. It's very well uh, lively and all. Yeah, it is fit very alive. Uh, oh, yeah. uh, hello there. Oh, yeah, is this, this is the boss, I'm guessing. Uh, yeah, I, I've watched a video at one point going over the story of the Metal Slug series. Ow. But I don't remember much of it anymore. Only that it goes absolutely bonkers. It's similar that the, well, the, the planet is covered in war. It's just a near constant war. Oh. And uh, there goes our weapons. So now we're just left with the pistol out of where is something there. Come on, give me that. Rocket launcher. Oop. Oop. Ah. And that's was, okay. was it actually the boss? Oh. Yeah it was, it seems. <laughs> Uh, yeah, those prisoners, uh, we, we, we recaptured. Yeah, those prisoners is how you get your upgrades. And achievements, Tetsuyuki? Whatever the hell that's supposed to mean. Wait, are you literally roasting the guys in us on the fire? Yep. I think they turn to cannibalism. And he's just playing gone. Oop. Gunship and machete? Oh, I don't think it's that can work. Yeah. Oh, hello. Okay, when they're thrown, they go underneath our shots completely. Oh, and I almost got hit there. Okay, I think you're supposed to have more than one character to choose between. Well, they're trying to die, I think. Now, I, I think more characters were added later on, and uh, how do I carry you? Now, I do not fully get the um, controls of this game. But, <laughs> come on, die on your own trap. Uh, hello, monkey. Nope. Nice try there. That's a monkey. <laughs> Hang up. Prisoner from the freaking app. Uh, from the freaking lights. Wait, Thank is this you. supposed to be London? Yeah. This is London. 
I don't remember there being but, restaurants but in look, bridges. Kitchen yeah. bar? <laughs> uh, uh, hello there. Wait. Is this supposed to be long run bridge? I guess. Did it. <laughs> Oh, oh, my main topic. Oh, London Bridge ain't falling down, it fell down long ago. And dead. Uh, yeah, this is one of those games where you die real easy. Yeah, I, I, I guess it's one of those old age hardcore games. Which now gets called Road Ride or something? No. It's just an old arcade game, so yeah, of course it's going to be tricky. Because yeah, they want your money. Okay. Oh, you're going to eat in my helmet? I'm guessing. Heavy machine gun. Rocket launcher. Oh. Oh, those are home. Are those homing? And I ran into that. Uh, okay, someone decided to just play bail shit. Uh, yeah, most of what I know that's supposed to be great about this game or this series is just the humor and the sprite work as well. Are they just going to keep coming? Uh, get, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Hello, and you have just points. Yeah, it's clear that I, I'm, I pretty much suck at this game. Oh, I don't blame you. Come on. Oh, you again. Another one of you. What's the cold code? A pet? Why is he still around the house? Uh, oh, hello there. Uh, Ooh, I need to worry about why those... Yeah, okay, yeah, those explode. Uh, did I just get myself into, stuck into a corner? Not yet. Okay, the controls are a bit odd with A being shoot, B being jump. Uh, X throws the explosives and Y doesn't seem to do anything. I thought so, I had Okay, we might actually spend a bit shorter time with this. Because uh, this can be... Well, my, my suffering is probably... Uh, uh, somewhat entertaining to watch. It's a bit... 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 You're just going to chop... <laughs> okay. Oh, he has another one of these. What the heck was that? Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Oh, hello. Oh, Alright, so the air is going fine. Ow. I'm guessing gas is like the health for the, the metal slugs. We that's what these things are called, metal slot tanks. Okay. This mobile mini can tanks. Do it. Ow. Nope, get underneath that. Pass that.
Okay. Yeah, this is where the game says is screw you, give us your quarters. Yeah, yeah, come on. Wait, what is the click thing? Hey, yeah, going against this with just a pistol. Yeah. Oh, yeah hello there. Uh, you have an iPad, so you're someone special. How is that thing still in the air? We gave up with the torpedoes. Or missiles. It's a little bit like a flying tube. Nice try, but I'm shooting by the platform, dude. Just give up. Uh, there goes my platform. Oop. Yeah. Okay, this is what gives me machine gun back. Which actually fires in first, and there we wait, did he just jump out in the freaking mini plane? Yep. Uh, like what is this with no prisoner? I'm guessing it only counts uh, hair buster ribbits? Oh, it must be the boss name for something. Mission three, start. Uh, how do we even get out of? There we go. Uh, okay, <laughs> that's just a s silly. Uh, I don't think this will make for much uh, streaming uh, quality, at least for. S well, usually we stream games for story, and with this, it's a lot of having to read into the backgrounds and stuff and such. So I'm not sure it would make much for that, but we could maybe put this on Saturday at times, uh, just for a bit of side entertainment. Yeah, but I see it, this, it would definitely be a bit tricky to do a series of. Yeah, and I think I saw something okay, in here. Okay, okay, uh, okay, uh, okay, okay, uh, okay. And it okay, just crashed. Okay, okay, okay. So uh, yeah, okay, okay, let's okay, just stop, okay, let's shut this off. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Oh, that's not promising. Well, I can promise we should not make a series of it. Yeah. Uh, maybe we can pick up some of the Metal Slug games for just, si just ent side entertainment, or maybe I'll just play those on my own. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, that'll be something Sunday for this week. And uh, yeah, I think going forward, we might be starting with the Saturday side shows again, just because, uh, yeah, I, I need some more variation in the streams. It's not that I've been not enjoying Impossible Creatures, and we will be finishing that soon, probably in the, the coming week or in this week, depending on if you count Saturday as the start or Sunday as the start or end of the week. First, I count as the uh, end. But I... Uh, yeah, I, I just, I'm just going to need to some more variation from time to time. Yeah, for that game is indeed frustrating at times. Yeah. And <laughs> just, just when we, just when we finally realize that attrition is the best uh, way of dealing with the AI, it throws something at us that completely circumvents that being able to use that. Yep, and game was a little bit too small of a time limit. Uh, yeah, I think it's mostly forcing you to go with low-level beasts, which is... Yeah, I've got a note here of uh, what to mix, basically just lemming stuff. But uh, yeah, that'll be for Tuesday. For now, uh, if you're still watching, thank you, Abby Bassoni and Camafra. Uh, as always, special thanks to you, Dirk, here. Oh, you're most welcome, lad. And uh, yeah, until next time, but until then... Until then. Be safe, folks!